we say, first I had to go down into the cellar, which in this place is really quite low and quite scary to find this, our projector screen, right? In this projector screen, I swear that those footprints that have been uncovered by the sands in Norfolk, right, were easier to find than the projector screen. So we had that, and then, because this is such, you know, we're in Camden, guys, yeah, it's really punk, it's really cool. Um, and because we're in Camden, obviously, they had to smash it. So look, look at the engineering ingenuity. Steve Jobs cables, awesome for projectors. That's, so no cost has been spent. I'm trying kind to of clean up to fame. He's done the thing which all merits do to become famous. He had a disease named after him, and uh, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. And, and I often wonder about this again, because just... Does every medic want to have a disease named after them? Is that exactly what they do? Do you think Mr. Parkinson was going, or Dr. Parkinson, I suppose, was going walking down the street, he saw some people shuffling past, and they just went, well, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what There's no way I can claim that the person I'm going to talk about isn't famous. He's hugely famous. In fact, during his lifetime, he was described as the most famous man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, correct. <laughs> he is fit. Uh, now, um, well done there. I just thought I'd zoom it up a bit for you. A few of them actually the banana floor. No, it, you know, it looks a bit like a banana, doesn't it? It's, it's not actually poisonous. It's just a bit of a stand and it can slip and break its neck. That's, <laughs> that's how this one works. <laughs> He's known as the second discoverer. <laughs> I'll prepare for this talk uh, on Friday, uh, sorry, Saturday, because there'll be a lot about him online. And this is the thing about this gig is that there's fucking nothing. Like, there's literally. <laughs> and it's one of the only birds in the world that can navigate in complete pitch black. Like, you think of something like an owl. Owls can't fly if it's completely flat. There's been experiments where they put them in black rooms and they will just fly into the wall and things. Because <laughs> without Jeff Buckley and Alan Lou, you know, would we have understood the emotional poignancy of certain scenes in the OC? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we would have, would we? Then managed to find three lost Inca cities. He was looking for one, found three. <laughs> that was his next expedition. Uh, he grew up on that expedition, only a Bible, uh, a, a volume of Shakespeare's works, and some dental forceps. Um, <laughs> just because he wanted to help out any locals had teething problems, which is definitely something you should do if you're a dentist. But when you're a, an idiot who has no experience in anything whatsoever, you shouldn't do that, but that's what he did. Um, okay, he's not technically dead, but his career is, and that's the same. In America. <laughs> more than anybody else is uh, Amy, when she reads a show title, doesn't read it all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> dead list. Dead list. But no, um, that, that was marvellous, and you're wrong, fundamentally. One, not that pretty. Two, I would beat this man to a pulp for ten seconds with Bernard Cohen. Anyway. <laughs>